Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to Cosmonaut Mostly in Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. Okay, so here we are, we've got stuff going on. Uh, we, uh, we haven't tanked the uh, Republic completely, although that's not for lack of trying. Um, anyway, uh, so far things haven't uh, completely... Uh, uh, tanked, and that's um, uh, pretty uh, impressive, really. Uh, we're slowly working uh, happiness back up uh, and getting our uh, loyalty up into a sensible range. Uh, all of that jazz, right? And we've got uh, rail construction going on here. Uh, Right, and the uh, radio station is just starting to pick up staffing uh, from our population crash. And that, uh, that is, in fact, um, important because that will get the loyalty back up to a really good uh, position. Uh, meanwhile, down here, we've got... Uh, I'm using these modded massive storage operations, but I don't see them as a cheat as well they've got an integrated uh, rail station they also have um, they're also based on proper storage tanks so uh, yeah so we've got basically nine storage tanks as opposed to one storage tank in a piece that's really what it comes down to so these I don't think they're uh, they're they're cheaty which is why I'm using them uh, so this is going to be, uh, we're going to use one for uh, storing fuel output, one for storing bitumen output, right? And uh, we've got our oil coming into our oil refinery. So the next thing we need is enough people to actually uh, operate the refinery, and we don't have that. And then, of course, we've got the... Uh, the coal mine down here that uh, we can get operational at some point. Uh, what we need to do though is get enough together that it's possible to uh, to start earning some uh, rubles on uh, exports. That's going to take uh, that's going to take a little bit more doing because we need people, right? Now let's just check in on the uh, financial situation. We've got, uh, we owe 11.2 uh, million rubles. That's not going to go down. Uh, and we have a, uh, you know, 12 and a quarter thousand ruble daily uh, uh, debt service bill. And that isn't going to improve anytime soon either. So uh, we're in a situation where it's going to take quite a bit to dig out of the debt and what we need to do is get something going where we can actually uh, export enough stuff to offset that uh, that's going to take I, and gravel is not going to be it even though we're producing enough gravel that we don't have to import it we're also producing enough cement that we don't have to import it uh, ideally, uh, if we could be uh, producing enough coal that we don't need to import it, that would be important. Uh, so I think uh, the important thing to do down here is possibly start getting uh, getting all of the... Wait, that, that's... that's coal ore processing that's coal ore that's the output yeah that's the output okay so that's where we're going to be picking up our coal from anyway let's start working on getting these uh, these buildings here constructed this is going to take a while now we're going to uh, use the uh, chopper operations uh, no we need to assign it to actually and I'm going to assign these things like one at a time uh, so that they actually make progress or appear to make progress, right? Uh, we've also got a traffic jam here. Um, okay, I think maybe I can get away with exporting some cement. Um, yeah, I think I can. 
Um, that does seem like it might be uh, a thing that we can do. Uh, okay, so we would export it from here. Yeah, we would export it from here. Or would we? Yeah, we would. We would. Uh, otherwise, we'd be. Uh, yeah, otherwise, we'd be creating a traffic jam. Okay, so what I can do is get a, a couple of dry bulk uh, trucks. Uh, where's our thing here? Okay, uh, dry bulk. Um, dry bulk. Uh, oh, we have a big dry bulk uh, truck, so we can... Uh, okay. Let's just buy two of those, and we're going to go... Wait, do I have a cement line? Uh, uh, barter Town? No. Uh, is this Barter Town? No, it's Nemiman. Uh... No. Uh, what the? What's this one? Um, Barter Town. What? What? What am I doing there? Oh, is that a hedge against... Uh, oh, that's a hedge against the power going out there. Okay. Right. Okay, grab this. And we're going to do this. You're going to go there. And you're going to go there. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, this is going to be the uh, cement export. Okay. Save it. Now, this we're going to load 100% of cement. Here, we're going to unload 100% of cement. Okay. Now, Let's um, let's get these guys going. Right. Um, okay, that will get That will get cement exporting. Uh, that will also mean... That, uh, I think we end up with possibly a net loss on this until we start making our own fuel. But I'm less concerned about that at the moment than... Uh, uh, it'll keep this operating at the very least. Uh, at least in a way that uh, the, the stuff doesn't... Uh, You are, yeah. So we're getting uh, 660 per export. That's pretty much nothing, right? But it's but what we've got going on here is enough to make this um, actually use up its input resources, which uh, I think that would be useful just to prevent uh, traffic jams. Okay, so that's uh, ticking along. How's the uh, rail construction? We're down. Okay, we're, we're making progress on the rail. Uh, once we get down here. Um, yeah, once we're down here. Uh, I can set up some uh, uh, exports on those. Get some people. Um, 
this? Oh. Okay. I can start getting a small amount of... Uh, of... Uh, uh, people uh, operating there. Uh, okay, so here uh, we're going to grab passenger cabins. Uh, we're going to grab a few 12 passenger ones. Okay, uh, say 20 of them. Right, okay. And then we're going to turn it on uh, and let the cabins uh, start doing their thing. Yeah. Okay, so we can, we can run that. Okay. I think maybe it'd be worth, uh, you know, a turning on... Hmm... Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, do I have enough workers that it's worth trying this? Uh, I might have. Uh, how's this coming? Uh, we need some construction workers. Ah. Where's the uh, helipad for construction workers? It's over here. Wait, if I turn on workers here, will we get any? That's uh that's a good question. We are picking up a few workers. Now, if we come down here, um Right, we could end up shunting... Now, I could just send the workers down there. Yeah, we don't have uh, roads coming down into these things, so... Yeah. So let's watch as the, uh, the cabins come in. I'm not particularly fussed where the workers go. I just need them to go somewhere. Okay, we're coming up to here. <clears throat> right, we're producing something down here. We're actually making uh, stuff. We're, we're uh, producing um, <laughs> like nothing. <clears throat> Yeah, this, I think, is the thing we need to do. Uh, and is this... No, that's... That's mostly not going to get workers. But we're picking a couple of workers per, uh, per cabin. So ultimately, we are filling up... We're, we're making fuel and bitumen. So we, these things are huge. 13,000 tons. So they can uh, sit there collecting uh, stuff. And when we get the, uh, the rail operation sorted, actually, once we get enough of this sorted out, fuel, uh, I can start picking up... Uh, wait. Um, I can actually start picking up fuel from here instead of the border uh, for that central uh, storage... Uh, distribution point up there but what I want to do in the meantime we have plenty of gravel uh, I want to make this road a gravel road um, I need to get uh, a better um, handle on uh, on transport down here at least in the summertime 
uh, with, uh, with better um, uh, roads, right? Uh, and doing that should get, uh, should allow picking up stuff from down here uh, a little more, uh, uh, a, a little easier. Uh, the other thing is we can pick up bitumen from down here as well. Uh, I could run a couple of I could run a couple pipelines up here and uh, uh, distribute the bitumen and um, uh, fuel. Um, this is my fuel. Uh, yeah, uh, I could do that. And this is the bitumen one, right? Uh, I could I could run pipelines up there, but. Uh, I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to use. I, I'm going to use trucks because the demand isn't that high. Uh, but in the meantime, we've got uh, we've got enough gravel here that we can actually uh, gravel this road. Uh, we just need the uh, excavator to arrive at some point, uh, which it will do. But we do have plenty of gravel to gravel that road. Um, no workers or mechanisms. Uh, where's that uh, helicopter construction office? Um, do we... We do have something that can carry the mechanisms, don't we? I think we do. But it hasn't brought mechanisms down there. Um, oh, this. Oh, I can't. Uh, right, this needs to get built as well. That's uh, that's important. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, workers can't come from here down to here. Uh, yeah, that's going to be uh, important. But we are uh, we are working through stuff here. Uh, we're producing a decent amount. I think we might be producing enough fuel uh, and bitumen. Uh, yeah, we might be. So I might be able to stop importing that, and that uh, that could be a real saving once the uh, roads here get uh, uh, get sorted out. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I be able to change the uh, supply line to, uh, you know, from the where wherever that uh, business is um, here to pick up the bitumen and the fuel from down here. Meanwhile, we've got a dozer working its way up that road. Yeah. Yeah, definitely uh, I want uh, gravel uh, roads here. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to get the main roads here graveled up to the uh, storage tanks. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Uh, we are in fact uh, running the the thing here. Okay, we're building the the path, and that might get the. I'm gonna have to turn off the coal mine uh, once the uh, once the uh, fancy operation there is uh, finished. Right. Yeah, we're doing okay there. We're, we're, we're not producing at any particularly brilliant rate. Um, I mean, where this isn't going down, right? Um, oh, 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 yeah, that's going to take a while. That's a long road. Yeah, we haven't even finished delivering all the gravel yet. Yeah, just about, though. It's... Uh, Really, it's it's making uh, some some real uh, some real progress here. Now um, we have one staff member in there. Um, okay, I think we're okay for the most part here. Um, 
Now these guys, happiness is going up. Okay, so we're, we're good there. Uh, close that. Uh, our worker count, I think it's going up. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the other important part is the uh, worker count needs to be going up. Yeah, the uh, bottleneck at the customs post here will reduce when we're not importing fuel. Um, oh, something else I can do is I do have the resources for making uh, a prefab panels. So that needs cement and gravel, I believe. So that's that seems like something that might be worth uh, producing as well, uh, doesn't it? Um, yeah, it does. So let's go in here. This is under construction. Prefab panels. Uh, it takes uh, cement and gravel. Yep, it's cement and gravel. Okay. I'm going to put it... I'm going to put this over here. Uh, right here. Is that in range of... Um, no. No, I think I probably should put it over here. Uh, where's the, uh, where am I, where am I dropping off? Oh, I'm dropping off people over here. No, I should put it here. Wait, I could get it from a dry bulk, um, a dry bulk conveyor into it. And a gravel conveyor in. Hmm. Yeah, but I don't need a huge amount of prefab panels, do I? So I could easily take a... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, I'll just put it over here. And I'll just truck supplies into it. Okay, so if I put that there, and then I grab a gravel road, which I can do here, right? So I can build that. Okay, now what does this need? Uh, concrete, gravel, asphalt. Yeah, that's fine. Um... That might not be the best... Actually, that might not be the best layout for that. No, it probably isn't. Get rid of it before you build anything. Uh, yeah, you need to think this through. Right. Okay, so grab that thing again. Uh, right. So I'm going to need an aggregate and dry bulk unloader. Uh, that's the, uh, the thing, right? Uh, prefab panels factory. Yeah, so I'm going to want those to... I'm going to need room to put those in there. So if I put this here... Like that. Right. Then I'll go for a... No, it's aggregate. Truck aggregate unloading. Uh can go here yeah and a dry bulk loading and unloading yeah that can go right there actually it can go right here like that Okay. Right. Now, I need roads that I need to rejigger. So if I take that out... Oh, really? Okay, now if I take that out... Yep. I didn't, I didn't need to worry about uh, messing anything up there. Uh, because the... Uh, uh, the road, uh, uh, 
okay, turn off the thing. Yeah. Is the, there was another road into there, right? Um, okay, and then we just run a road across like this. Oh, it can come all the way out to here. Yeah. Uh, this can do that. That can do that. And this, I guess, can come up there like that. Yeah. I think that will uh, that will do what I want it to do. So we'll build that, that, that. Right. Okay. That's going to get some stuff uh, operating there. Where's the... Okay. The dozer is still working its way up that. Good. Um, now, what stopped production? Are you actually running? You are. Okay. That is important because that, that's partly what killed us the uh, last time around. Um, we have 6752, 51 uh, workers, right? Right, yeah. That's what we have. But we have lots. Uh, we don't have as many children as we would like. Okay, where are we here? Um, we are down here. We, we're making progress on the rail line, so there's that. We have 179 tons of uh, fuel. And 108 tons of bitumen. Yeah. Yeah, what I'll do is, uh, once this road here is complete, I'll switch the bitumen source to here. That will, uh, that will cut some imports for construction. Uh, now, if we go in here, we're exporting uh, five to ten, five to eight thousand uh, in uh, uh, in in from the dry bulk, uh, the cement, um, and we're keeping up with that mostly. Um, yeah, we're mostly keeping up with that. So uh, I think we can leave that as is. Um, we might be able to export some gravel. Uh, I don't think I will just at the moment, but we could export some of that, uh, which would give us just a little bit more of an offset on the, uh, the import costs. But I, I want to avoid that until we get the, uh, the road down to here sorted out. Oh, this is just about done. Uh, yeah, that is just about done. Now, down here, uh, we have... Um, we have uh, stuff... Uh, we are bringing workers in down there. Okay. And that is... That is getting a the coal mine built. Um, okay. Okay. That's going to be the largest part of this whole operation down here, is building the coal mine. Uh, meanwhile, we do still have workers up here, and that is good. But we're not leaving any workers here. No. Uh, and that is that is the uh, the thing here. So uh, it's not uh, it's not overloaded yet. Uh, and that does mean though that we need some more. Um, more people in our uh, town here. Right. Okay, that road is done. We can come down here and get the next two segments of road underway. Yeah. Meanwhile, up here, uh, we've got uh, two, some more segments of road to uh, finish there. Right. 
so what I'm going to do here is I'll set up a couple of trucks bringing cement in here, a couple of trucks bringing uh, gravel in here. Uh, I could actually I could get gravel with a conveyor. Can I get gravel with a conveyor? That would be potentially better. Uh, conveyor. Um, not easily. Okay. Uh, then I won't. I could, however, pick the gravel up here. Yeah, I could. I could pick the gravel there. And then it would, uh, it would have a short, shorter haul. Less fuel usage. Yeah, that would be good. Uh, I could use that as the buffer. Bring it in here. Wait, can I get a road? Uh, can I get a road through here? I can get a road through there. Yeah, I can get a road through there. Okay. Well, if I... Wait. If I put a road through there... Crossing... Oh, that's because that's a uh, path. Yeah, idiot. Nope. Come out like that. Yeah, I think maybe I'll put a road there too. Having more roads around is certainly not going to harm anything. Right. Oh, that meat meat that meat needs one more workday. Yeah. Nice. Um Okay. That's that's working its way there. See, we have plenty of gravel, so that's why I'm not uh, concerned about uh, making gravel roads. Ah, see, we can we can make these uh, gravel roads pretty quickly uh, because we have lots of gravel and lots of uh, dump trucks, right? Okay, where are we at here? Um... Okay, we can start building that. Oh, and we can go in here. And what we're going to need to do is uh, pick up another loan. Before we tank everything. Okay. Now, here we are... Yeah, we're about 50k down on imports. So... Uh, that will be less when we're no longer building things uh, at a uh, s substantial pace. Oh, I need to do that. And that. And those. Yeah. What does this need? Uh, it needs 33 tons of concrete, 25 tons of gravel, 20 tons of asphalt, 158 tons. We can make bricks too. Uh, 52 tons of boards, 19 tons of steel. Um, am, did I put up a bricks factory anywhere? Uh, well, I can go in here. Where am I getting bricks from? I am getting bricks from the border. Okay, yeah. Uh, I could put a brick factory in as well, and that'll save brick, uh, import on bricks. I could put a brick factory over here as well, uh, where we have, uh, we're in range. Well, that road's in an unfortunate place for that then. Yeah, it kind of is. Well, you're the idiot that put it there without planning anything. Yeah, I can always remove it. Um... Ah, we're uh, just about over to here. Um, oh, this bit of road is going to be finished real quick. So, uh, yeah. 
I'll go ahead and queue this last bit up here. And next time around, we should be able to change the uh, bitumen source. Uh, there we go. Do that one. That'll take a moment. Now if we go up here. Uh, that is just about done. Then this will be the last bit we need to queue up. And then the uh, uh, a prefab panels uh, plant or factory will be online. Uh, and not having to import uh, prefab panels will definitely help. I don't think that needs steel. No, it doesn't need steel, right? Uh, st that's gonna I mean if we can get down to steel uh, being the major import for construction, uh, we end up with a substantially lower uh, build cost, and we'll be importing a lot less. Although rail construction is going to use quite a lot of steel, it's actually using prefab panels as well. So uh, it'll cut our uh, rail construction costs with our concrete rail uh, setup uh, by uh, doing that as well. Uh, okay, so that is ticking along. Everything's ticking along. Good. Uh, so I'm going to put the cut here. And uh, next time around, uh, it'll be down to uh, switching some imports uh, to the uh, uh, refinery down here. Uh, that will potentially slow some things down. Um, uh, you know, we're just down to work days on the mine. Uh, so uh, I'll turn the mine off uh, as soon as it finishes constructing. Uh, so I think I'll just set it to notify when finished. Right, so I'm putting the cut here. Uh, next time around, uh, more uh, more uh, stuff getting uh, sorted out. Uh, hopefully we'll be getting uh, more people in. Uh, that would be important. Uh, and we still have a bit of an issue there. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully... Uh, Hopefully things don't go sideways on us, but, you know, they might. Hard to say. Uh, anyway, uh, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. You know, the usual thing that you do with uh, YouTube videos. Or you can dislike if you prefer. I mean, it's still an option. And if you turn the bell on, you may get some notifications that you may or may not find useful. Entirely up to you. Anyway, see you back next time.